into this computer. All right. Good evening. Back to another night of moon magic. Yes. And tonight we have the full moon in Virgo. So my name is Irina. I'm for more healing and empowerment. And I'm Sequoia from Array of Gratitude. Okay. And so I guess let's just get started. We have um, a night of all things Virgo, all things moon. So what information do you have for everyone today? Okay. So we're going to talk a little bit about the moon, the astrology of I don't go too much into astrology because I, I'm not an astrologist, um, like intermediate, but I want to make it more about the energy. So we do have the sign of Virgo, which is a lot about practicality, um, analyzation, um, planning, um, organizing, and it also deals with health, um, the sign of health. I, I kind of feel like that's why a lot of times you might see like that maiden with like, um, it looks like she's holding a bundle of like wheat or whatnot. <laughs> um, it reminds me of Harvest, but I remember reading somewhere it was more so about um, like herbology or something like that. Don't quote me guys, <laughs> but I remember reading something like that because I was like, why do they always show like this woman with um, Virgo and it's it's about um yeah like a health and like maiden I don't I don't know but let me not get off track um let me talk about things I do know right so um this full moon right is opposite of the sun which we're still in Pisces and um this full moon has been tapping into a lot of analytical things I want to say like um let me read my notes. Let me just read some like higher perspectives coming in. You know, like if we've been on like a journey, um, we've been on a path for a while and we've been trying to get answers. I feel like this full moon is really um, culminating to a part where it's like, wow, this may be the end of one journey and on to a next. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, or just really finding truths. Um, I wrote down 360 culmination or some things that you may have been working on um, actually seeming to actually start blossoming. Um, wisdom is being brought to you as well. There's one thing about knowing something with knowledge and also that wisdom is a little bit different because you actually can apply this knowledge now that you've learned and um, gain wisdom and gain that insight. Um that true re resonance within yourself to really apply um, these lessons learned, right? Um, practical ways to start something to do over or show up. Um, I love helping people with creativity. And many times I've, I've spoken with a lot of um, women that um, are multi-passionate, right? They want to do a lot of things, but sometimes it's not the season to do that, right? And other times, it's just like it needs to be reformulated in a different way. And this is kind of where I've been. Um, I'm using my chakra affirmation cards. And the chakra that's highlighting for this full moon is the crown chakra. And um, when the crown chakra is in balance, a lot of times our ideas can be scattered um, it can kind of detach us or distort us from spiritual experiences, um, soulful experiences, really like connecting with our soul, um, understanding where or what our soul is trying to do, um, what purpose is it trying to live up to, right, on that soul level, instead of more on our mental or analytical, um, egoic type of perspective or level right if that makes sense um and a lot of times too like the crown tracker can just be like overload over sensory um which can cause something like anxiety it can feel like anxiousness right like just scattered all over the place or tapping into fear easily um instead of feeling like the trust with the universe um our knowing our intuition um, that divine source energy. 
And on this card, it says, when it's in its light activation, it says, I will always find the truth within me. And then in the shadow aspect, it says, everyone lies and I don't know what to believe anymore. So that's kind of like that confusion. Um, just even like pulling from different stories that may not really be resonant to you. Mm -hmm. um, forgetting to like look within first instead of, you know, attaching um, or connecting um, with other things that aren't really aligned. But if we're not really aligned with our intuition or our soul, first and foremost, then it can be kind of easily to allow that crown to just either be not worn or open to too many things that can take you off your 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 path um, and kind of dishearten your faith as well. So um, that's kind of what I wrote down for this energy of the full moon. Um, oh, this full moon also is, I don't know. It also, like sometimes I like to bring the, the terminology, like the worm moon. Um, I don't know, Irene, like, do you want to jump in kind of? Or, I, no, or I wish I go? Could, <laughs> not right, but I do have other things I want to say. I do know it was the warm, warm moon, but um, I don't know a lot about it because I, I know we were said we weren't going to talk about it, so I didn't go into it. But yeah. what I wanted to point out was um, you started talking about the Virgo opposite of the sun in Pisces and what yes. it was talking about is Pisces very intuition spirituality whereas Virgo represents daily routine physical health and one of the things is I was wondering and I was going to ask you would you feel like with Virgo I know when it comes to the cards the pentacles is a bit much about like the material world resources would you say that there's a connection there yeah I do think so um earth signs um yeah. virgo is um representation of the earth element um along with capricorn and um taurus yeah. and with the pentacles the tangible things um the body even um like how i was talking about virgo um with mm -hmm. health right the body the physical um things that are within our ourselves our structure that holds up the spirit um, this vessel that we have. Um, I'm trying to think what, because each sign even connects with a body part. Um, I think we can get into, I don't know. I, I yeah, know. actually, it, I think that Virgo is connected to the stomach area and the digestion. So like, if you, if I'm correct, do you see how that kind of, okay, thank you, Sadie. It's like, this all comes into like breaking down, like what your stomach does, it breaks down your digestion, right? Mm -hmm. And it's reminding me even like the solar plexus, plexus um, control, willpower, um, determination, um, confidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of like tangible things I feel like you can implement those type of words into. And right now we're trying to move forward and break through with the clarity that's coming um, full circle for most of us possibly mm -hmm. um, during this time. Yeah. One of the other things I wanted to point out is that this full moon in Virgo um, has like it's work hard, but also play hard mentality. So it's, it kind of just comes back down to balance too, right? So it's like figuring out where that balance is. Um, and so how do we create balance? We create healthy habits. We get into routines. We figure out how to organize things. And, and I think that that's kind of what this is trying to point us to of like getting ourselves together to create that balance because yeah, we, we got to work. Most people got to work. And then we also have the part of, we want to play and finding out the balance for that. Absolutely. And before you go on too, I wanted to say one thing. So one thing that I wrote down, I like to write things down. It makes me feel good. Um, mm -hmm. And it says, listen to your intuition, follow your inner wisdom and know that any healing journey inspired by this full moon will unlock a deeper and higher potential within you. So I just want to put that out there. And that circles back. I, I feel that that connects back with the crown chakra as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, did anybody want to say anything before I get into the tarot reading? 
I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to do the tarot reading. Um, it's more so talking about our energy, more so, um, a collective reading. It may tap into collective as in, as of whole, but I like to tap in um, to these type of questions for us, our circle, because this is our time together that we have. And um, I love cards because they can also serve as conversation starters. <laughs> I do intuitive messages, so I am intuitively looking at the cards. Um, I love tarot. I love the elements and how um, the archetypes and everything that goes into tarot, but it also allows me to connect with my crown <laughs> and um, my soul and um, intuitively speak on things as well as sometimes even channeling uh, messages as well, connecting with higher self and the people that I do the card readings for. <laughs> so um, this tarot spread we're going to do, um, every full moon and new moon, I like to just sit with myself, um, get really introspective and um, use tarot spreads sometimes. Um, if anyone else uses cards, you can definitely copy this, maybe utilize these this card spread for you. Um, so I have them pulled already, but I'm actually, I think I might just, um, no, I'm going to leave them here. So I have them pulled already. And um, the first card that comes out with what new awareness is coming to the surface for me, I have here... Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have the nine of swords. I'm going to lift this upright. Where are we here? Perfect. Yeah. And um, as you can see, the swords, the swords is the air element all about thoughts, all about um, uh, direction, um, intuition as well. And it's like looking at like this. Uh, brain here right nine of swords is the anxiety card um overthinking card um I want to even say like discombobulated it's just like too much in your head if you've ever I'm, I'm sure we've all experienced this right where it's just like information overload and then like a lot of things we may be carrying um limiting beliefs right things that we need to really sit with and say like, okay, this is what I'm feeling. This is what I'm hearing. This is what I'm, I'm, I'm sensing right now. And do I choose to believe this right now? Or do I choose to release this and, um, let the universe step in and guide me with, um, unconditional love and, um, just that intuition. The intuition is, is like, knowing what you don't know but it knows already right um I just pull these cards but I don't know who's going to connect with these messages right but we're all here um we're all connecting and there's always some type of form of um mirror that the universe is letting us see ourselves um within the micro and the macro um, and going back to the question, what awareness is coming up to the surface for me? What, in, what what awareness is maybe these thoughts that are causing anguish, maybe causing um, negativity or, or low vibrations, right? And you're seeing them for what they are now, either at a grander perspective or um, just feeling like, you know what, it, it's time. It's time to let these go. Um, understanding some truths about it too. Maybe why you may have been attached to whatever thought patterns you've been having, um, listening to your ego, um, or just wrapped around fear. This card does always remind me about fear as well. Like it just doesn't feel good at all. And I, I like to say sometimes fear is the opposite on the spectrum of of love in a way like there's fear there's love and um where do you want to be at right um i was listening to something too sometimes fear can serve a purpose i do think all things serve a purpose but it's 
it's not to be um, held on to and attached. It's it's just trying to just alert us and say, okay, oh, this doesn't feel good. Don't want to go there, you know, or um, a reaction of just where you're at right now in the moment. And I feel like it's okay to not be okay. Um, but we do have a choice to actually choose to gather what this information is telling us and um, move forward with a different perspective, um, a healing aspect, you know, like a, a, a healing key almost to unlock something within you. Um, that's what I'm feeling for that. Now, what hidden desires do I not see? Before you go there, I just wanted something that was coming up for me was just the fact that to be aware for me is to, to be aware is to be alive. And so mm. to be aware that I might be anxious, just being aware in itself, being aware that I'm, I might have some fears, some things that are making me uncomfortable and just it's now present and I can own it. I can, I can acknowledge it. And that's what that's coming up, coming up for me as well. Yes. I like that. Thank you. And and this is kind of it's funny you said that right because once once you're aware, um, it's like me wanting to change something right, and if I don't really know what to change, then it's kind of going to be harder for me to to implement or start that process. And once I'm aware of what I need to change, then it's like oh, okay, now I can start adding new things. The second question is, what hidden desires do I not see? I have the Ten of Cups here. Mm. It's reminding me of like, after the storm, there's always, always uh, sunshine. We can be afraid in the storm because a lot of times we really don't know what's going to happen. You know, storms can be dangerous. Storms can be scary. And storms get dark as well. But afterwards it's always sunshine it just is um especially if you make it through that storm and just looking at all this yellow in this card um is reminding me of the solar plexus like how you're bringing bringing up um just like the willpower to do something um the willpower is that drive in direction and what you were talking about Irina um awareness right awareness and direction definitely allows you to aim towards the goals um without that awareness the direction may be unclear um but it's also about owning too like we've been going through a lot of storms collectively right and sometimes when you don't have that willpower um when you don't have um the support or just confidence or clarity we can kind of lose hope mm -hmm. and forget about what we truly desire which is another thing that it's like well owning the fact that I do desire love I do desire happiness I do desire these goals that I want to meet just because this didn't happen that way doesn't mean that um I can't have that I might have it in a different package but that feeling of the desire the feeling of meeting those goals and completing those goals is is more what we want to um embrace the energy of not the actual tangible things and when I have 10 of cups cups is the water element cups is the emotions, energy emotions we feel. So feel those desires and really feel and tap into those truths that you deem to want to connect with. And um, mm -hmm. try not to attach too much of the physical, but again, the, the, um, I'm getting lost for words here. The the feelings, the emotions, right? That's not tangible. That's the energy that we want to tap into. Um, so we can kind of balance that, right? Um, 
I mean, did you have something to say? <laughs> so we started off with talking about feeling the anxiety and the fear, and we're now aware of it. And so after having the awareness, maybe we don't even see, we, we, we get into a place where we can't see that this good stuff could happen. Like it could feel good after the anxiety and the fear. It could happen. And so maybe we've just been ignoring that because it feels too heavy. The anxiety and the fear feels too heavy, but now it's like it, it was hidden, but it doesn't have to be hidden anymore. The good stuff can happen. That's where the, the light, like what you're talking about is it's like, well, just embrace the fact that this could happen. Like you can have some good, you can have the positive, you can have the 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 good the good feeling after the not so good feeling absolutely because this is interesting um I just before we even got these cars I just put them on my surface and then I flipped them over <laughs> and right here the last card I have oh is the um I am so bad with mirrors this is a ten of pentacles <laughs> and it's like it was in reverse so it's reminding me too of like okay yes we do want this tangible thing like there's nothing wrong with having tangible things there's nothing wrong with being material um wanting the material wanting money even you know sometimes people say like have these attachments these thought process around money and it's like well this is what's going on in your psyche this is what your mind is telling you but it doesn't necessarily have to be real um if you actually like deem it to be real, tangible, um, the feeling here though is is the importance, really, like important here is what are we truly feeling, and how is that actually aligning with our thoughts? Because if the feelings aren't aligning with our thoughts, um, there's a disconnect, and. I feel like that disconnect is kind of not allowing things to um, materialize in the way that you desire um, the truth that you're trying to connect with. Um, it's something about truth, right? When it, truth and stillness, I feel like truth comes with stillness. Um, and just getting to know yourself more. Um, it's kind of reminding me of the infinity symbol. Mm -hmm. There's always a truth within yourself. And then there's a greater truth amongst the universe. And that reminds me of something tangible and something that's hard to grasp. And there's always two sides to a coin, but it's always this truth. And we have to figure out the balance um, of the mind in the heart or the mind in the heart, right? And figure out what spirit is trying to bring to us um, in our truth of purpose um, of where we are trying to move forward to, where we're trying to actually um, level up in and um change and heal and um transform into things um it's just reminding me of like alchemy or something and I'm not trying to get too deep here but it's just like there's always this um paradox here where we have to bring into balance um bringing back to the very first question where there's things may feel yucky right but there's always on the other side, there's always going to be that goodness, that joy, that that um, brightness that we desire, that we thought was hidden and that we're really trying to call in. But um, we got to still see what's in the present and be hopeful for what to come, if that makes sense. So <laughs> trying to bring it full circle. <laughs> I got so excited and emotional at one point because it's like we were just talking about in terms of Pisces, Sun, uh, Virgo, Moon, uh, excuse me, you know, it's just like, oh, it's just, it's, it makes sense. We were talking about the mind, we were talking about um, our intuition, and then it, it just, you're right, like just comes back to full circle. And I brought up pentacles before and you said it was the 10 of pentacles was the last card of like, what can I bring? 
um, how can I bring what is best for me into my reality? And so it was just like, it all came together. And since I do have my therapist hat at some times, um, it's just almost like thoughts, feelings, and behaviors in a sense. And so like our thoughts impact our feelings and our, then our feelings impact our behaviors and it's all connected still. And so it was just very, very interesting as you were talking. And, and I like how you just brought up the thoughts, um, um, feelings and behaviors. It's like, the crown chakra, right? When we were talking about how this is kind of highlighting this full moon. Um, when we have the spiritual effects are are physical, but it takes a while for it to actually affect it because we're then we start talking about like time factors and all that stuff, right? But um when we're talking about energy, it's again like it's just reminding me of that infinity. Um, symbol um it, it always comes back to the center um I was just thinking I get yeah. too excited and I love it um I was <laughs> thinking of that because you you know the heart the heart chakra is the connection between the two the realms, and the lower. Mm -hmm. chakras and so it's that's kind of what I'm seeing and, and experiencing as you're talking that, that because if we're thinking about the feelings portion it brings together like the physical and then the, the emotion the the thoughts so it's just I don't know it's just all making sense right now <laughs> let me see if there's anything else that I just want to Does anyone else have anything that they'd like to say, add to it, or um, just like recognize? For me, what was really coming through at that end, I don't remember now what the questions are, um, but the third question with the 10 of pentacles. Um, how, Siri, how can I bring you... what is, I'll, I'll share the screen again for you. How can I bring what is best for me into my reality? And with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, I guess, I mean, the Ten of Pentacles is such a beautiful card and it's rich and it's bountiful and it's just all the things. And for me, I, I saw that what it spoke to me is how can I bring what is best is by releasing attachment to all of that stuff, you know, that really was just like coming through like really loud. I mean, all these cards were just so lovely. And I've been seeing the number eight everywhere, everywhere. Wow. This morning, I was just like, oh, that's the infinity symbol, you know? Mm -hmm. And again, <laughs> it's just like, can't make Absolutely. up. <laughs> I love it. Thank you for sharing, and yeah. thank you for sharing that because it's reminding me too, like these cards that just came out, you said eight. These cards that came out were nine, 10, 10. And that's like a progression here. And 10 um, is that cycle of beginning and ending mm -hmm. um that full circle just coming back to self yep yep um, sometimes sometimes you guys like when I do the spreads it kind of gets me like jumbled up <laughs> and sometimes it's like let me just pull the cards and flow with it but you know it, it it's kind of like tomato tomato but I definitely feel like um these other cards came out too like princess of swords and prince of cups it's really, um, again, like the thoughts and the feelings, um, connecting, um, understanding even, um, and observing, right? Um, stillness, that's what's coming up. It just, um, today I was in a group earlier and we were talking about, um, observation like meditation and a lot of times people sometimes think like meditation is you know clearing the mind but it's it's really more powerful when we are observing um our thoughts and um honoring them the truth of what we are feeling and and sensing um in that time of stillness yeah well, before we continue, I want to just share the journal prompts so that you guys can also just think about them because they, they really go well with what we were talking about here um, with the tarot spread and just overall what this full moon is about. So I'm just going to share them and you can take a picture of them. You can hold on to them. They'll definitely be posted again later too, but. All right. So just some of the questions, some of the prompts that I want you to think about are how can I prioritize my wellness and get my daily routines more organized? 
What expectations of myself do I need to release to flow with life more? What are three actionable steps I can take today to make my dreams, goals, and intentions come true? And of course, finish the sentence, I am setting the intention to. So with that for a second, if you wanted to just think about that, you can always just focus on setting the intention because if there's nothing else, Koi, anything else from you? No, um, I just like reading these because I kind of get to read them at the same time as you all. So I like reading them. That's all. Right. So. so wonderful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the bath. <laughs> the bath. <That's> not, <laughs> I should have put sound before because I'm not bathing. <laughs> I'm going to bathe you in some sounds, yes. So um, I'm going to... Just make sure you put your thing on mute. All right, just let me know how it sounds. Are you able to hear it? Great. All right. So get comfortable. If you want to turn your screen off so that no one's looking at you during as you're being comfortable, up to you. All right, get in a comfortable position. Close your eyes if you feel comfortable and safe to do so. Begin focusing on your breathing. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. With each breath you take, you drop your shoulders, unclench your jaw, let your hands rest in your lap, just becoming more and more relaxed as you breathe in through your nose completely and exhale fully. Remember, we are setting the intention to whatever feels right for you.
taking a slow breath in, holding it at the top, nice and deep. And then exhale with a sigh. Again, rolling your shoulders, wiggling your fingers and toes. Bring yourself back to the moment, present. Feeling all that goodness, the relaxation. Just bringing yourself back to. Open your eyes. How did that feel? Yeah. It felt good. Um, sometimes when I listen to like sound frequencies, I see um, colors and I saw a lot of colors this time, which yeah. are really good. <laughs> Good. Any color specifically? Um, it was kind of. I saw a lot more of like a blue and like purple type of color. Um, or fuchsia. -ish, I don't know. <laughs> Sense. I did have the throat chakra mm -hmm. and the crown chakra. So yeah. I was seeing blue as well. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so glad. Uh, just a, a real quick note here. Um, my battery light just went on on my laptop and I don't have my cord with me. So if I disappear on you all, that's where I went. <laughs> that's okay. We we appreciate you being here and please make sure you come back. Um, yes. This will be posted too, but please, we, we're so glad that you are here. It's been really lovely. Thank you. Just in case you do get shut off, is there anything that you want to say? Anything you want to add? Um. No, <laughs> it's just been really nice to just be in the energy and just, and the, the sound is really soothing. I do sound healing myself. So it's just so nice to be on the receiving end, you know, and just like, oh, <laughs> so thank you. Well, good. Yeah. Thank you for coming. It was nice to see you. Yeah, um, you too. Yeah, it was really nice. so nice to hear your voice. It's so lovely. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> so. On that note, um, boy, is there anything else you want to say as as we wrap this up? Um, I just want to say I I'm really hopeful, and I hope that you are or whoever else gets to watch this is really taking time to find balance, um, sit with themselves with some type of stillness, and um, really look at both sides and really find the discernment in ways to move forward in a way that feels um good for them resonant to them and um find like more hope and faith because I, I I just feel that there's a nice shift happening for all of us and um it's something to be grateful and and just embrace no matter if we know what it is or not the unknown is scary but I, I feel like this time around the unknown can actually be pretty good and it might be the ten of pentacles or ten of cups I don't know <laughs> yeah. and I kind of just want to say before um we wrap up I want to repeat the thing I said in the beginning so it just says listen to your intuition follow your inner wisdom and know that any healing journey inspired by this March moon will unlock a deeper and higher potential within you so I just wanted to say that one more time so that we can all just listen to that one more again <laughs> So I am, I am going to go because my battery is, it just went on me. So I'm sorry to cut this short, but thank you. Thank you so much. Be here. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. And so it is you and I, and um, you have something you want to share with everyone, don't you? Do I? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> yes. So I'm finally, um, I finally decided to go forward with um, my very first event that is, I like to say it's a soul care masterclass because it's really allowing you to tap into your soul, tap into your offers as um, a business owner or startup company um, and really find ways to detox from corporate. It's called the corporate detox and it, it's really about um, dismantling the structures that we've um, acquired 
in our corporate lifestyles that um, pretty much um, can lead us to burnout. And um, I feel that burnout has been on the rise um, a lot more. <laughs> and um, I'm finally embracing the fact of my journey and exploring what burnout was for me and really helping um really helping entrepreneurs prevent burnout and um recover from burnout in a different way that I'd like to share with owning your energy, understanding your energy so you can then follow more truths um to your passions, right? And um know where you're at in your journey of um, having a sustainable offer and sustainable business that feels good for you. Awesome. So where can we find this information? Um, I will be putting the link at the bottom on my YouTube page. I'll have the link there. Um, you can also go to my um, Instagram, my link in bio. It will say um, events and workshops. Um, yeah. And, and I also started, um, I'm going to be starting a group more so that's pertaining to, um, the queen of wands group, right? <laughs> uh, speaking of crowns, right. I want us Queens, um, no matter. Yeah. Like I want us Queens to really just own our crowns. Right. And really utilize the crown energy of, um, confidence, but also like knowing knowing our unique um, talents and how to implement them with that confidence and um, effervescence. I don't know, that word's coming up and just feeling good about making money um, off of the things we love and, and deem valuable for us and our business and others to serve and help other people. Awesome. <laughs> well, I know I'm joining. I'll be there with you. So yes. this is great. Um, So come and check us out. We'll be back here in two weeks. We believe it's going to be a six. It may have to be 630 just because we have something to do earlier that day. But yeah. um, we will definitely be posting that on all of our platforms, social media, websites, all the things. So look out for more of that. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And uh, we hope that this was helpful. Yes, thank you. And next time we see you all, it will be the new moon in Aries, right? I think. I think so. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Bye.